Are you using a fractal north case with an all-in-one cooler mounted to the side? Did you mount your fan so it's doing a push or a pull configuration? Today we're gonna find out what works best and stay tuned to the end for one extra tip, a cooling solution you may not have thought of. Hey, what's up? John Charette here, and I recently completed this Fractal North build with an AMD 7950X and a ProAct motherboard with an Asus Strix 4090 GPU. Check out the full video here. Now, when I installed it, I thought to myself, I want to extract, I'm gonna get out as much air as possible out of the case. It is a monster CPU, but... After posting my video and show, you know, showing my so-so results with the cooler, I've had quite a few comments recommend that I swap and I pull in or push configuration fresh air into the case. Oh, icing on the cake, I just watched a J2Sense video where he says, Now I've been water cooling for over 25 years by using intakes on my front radiator or my side radiator or whatever, and if never ever ever had a problem. I would rather have fresh air coming through the rad than having warm air go out of the rad. Comment down below if you think his approach is correct or if you think we'll see any differences at all. Now, if you haven't watched my video and you're not on the up and up, here's what I did. There's two 140 mil fans pulling air in from the front, some fresh air. There is another set of 140 mil fans, two of them, blowing and sucking hot air out the top. So pretty standard in from the front, out from the top. So that creates a neutral pressure situation. But then I have the, the two 140s on the all-in-one that are pulling air out, right? Creating a negative pressure situation. Not ideal, It'd be nice to have them balanced. I may have a solution for that. Like I say, stay tuned to the end. Okay, so let me show you a few tests that I've already done in this configuration with some results to see and compare. Let's start with Cinebench R23 first. Running that, uh, it pretty much right away hit 95 degrees Celsius on the CPU, which is, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with it being at 95. I can sit there all day long. My concern is that it's limiting the amount of power draw to the CPU and therefore the potential gains in performance. At Cinebench with the blowing out, right, which is a pull configuration in this sense, the scoring for Cinebench was 35,433 points in the multi-core test. I didn't do the single core test because it didn't even come close to 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's really the multi-core that we're, we're concerned about. Next test, I was using Handbrake, which is a video transcoding conversion tool. And I took some footage uh, from my next test on Cyberpunk, and it's a 400 meg, 144p resolution screen capture. And I was transcoding it for this video. Now, running it through, it also hit 95 degrees Celsius pretty much right away. And it finished the video in one minute and 12 seconds. And lastly, I did want to check out a game uh, because some of you may be gamers and say, okay, well, does it matter this configuration in game? I went and loaded up Cyberpunk 2077, pretty high-end game, overdrive settings, everything max is 4090s baller, and ran the benchmarking test. The CPU itself in the gaming test only got maxed out at about 84 degrees Celsius. So it's perfectly fine. We know it's not being thralled at all. It had a score of 7,304. Next step is turning these fans around. So let me switch them up. We'll do the test again and we'll get some more results. All right, that was absolutely easy. Spun them around, done, uh, easy. Fractal, if you are watching this, this is the most frustrating part about this case, is just sliding this, this side panel on. It just doesn't slide in and stick. The, the top pops out and the bottom, anyway. anyway. Only, only thing I would recommend fixing about this case. Okay, I'm back. And, and I forgot to mention that uh, 
I use the Armory Crate, the Asus Armory Crate tool with their auto tuning function to set the fan curves before I started the test and then I kept the same curve value for both tests. Okay, results on Cinebench came in slightly lower, uh, still at 95 degrees Celsius, that didn't change, at 35,189 points. On to handbrake uh, rendering, I use the exact same video, same thing, the temps are still at 95 degrees Celsius the whole time and it took a 1 minute and 12 seconds, the exact same last but not least jumped into cyberpunk and for some reason it did better at 7388 points on the benchmark but still only a slight improvement with identical temps test results say cinebench was a bit slower handbrake was identical and cyberpunk cyberpunk was a bit faster now there is one thing that is bugging me about this this new setup and if you have been following along, thank you. I would appreciate it. Hey, smash that like button and subscribe if you're not. But the thing that's bugging me is that now I have four 140 mil fans pulling air in, two sending out the top, so we have like a four to two ratio. Someone in the comments also recommend, well, why don't you install a fan blowing out the back? Because the all-in-one is here, there is no room for a 120 mil fan underneath it. But what if you put one on the back? Now here, I picked up this Noctua. Ooh. <clears throat> nice black 120 mil, right? brown corners right with the case if I were to blow air out here almost like a jet engine coming out the back let's try it out All right, I had to get a little bit creative with the cable. There wasn't holes to go through, but there's a nice little spot uh, near actually where the GPU was that I can get it in and install it to one of the, the chassis headers. So I have set it so the fan is going to blow out. Will this make any difference? I'll let you know. And the results are in. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's unless you want extremely loud fan noise like this. I cannot believe at how loud it was. Now I was using the standard uh, fan curves, but literally as soon as the CPU went up, it just went into rocket mode. But for the name of science, I wanted to test it. I redid all of the tests to find out, did it make any difference? No, absolutely no difference. Not that I thought it really would. It would just really help kind of get some hot air out of the case. So like keep it on the case i mean i actually think it looks pretty cool and so what i did was i, I took the the tuning of, of the curve and i literally brought it down to five percent so it's just slowly blowing air out so i mean i'll keep it i think it's probably just helping neutralize the air pressure inside the case uh but yeah definitely not required so there you have it the direction of the fans of the side mounted all in one cooler in a fractal north case does not matter you choose figure out which way in and out how you want it with your positive or negative air pressure within your case let me know what you decide thank you for watching stay tuned i am who unboxing the next video of this asus pro art 4070 ti see you in the next one